like Newcastle because it's beautiful, nice. Here are a lot of people you can meet, international and yeah, interesting. When I came, I feel good and I, I had a good uh, welcome. So it's warm to, to live here. Here just English. I choose this city because there is no people who speak Russian and that's good. This city is very safety. I used to uh, work alone almost midnight to back home and I found that oh, it's safer than in London. Well, welcome to International House. Um, we're an English language school. We also teach other languages as well. Um, we're in the heart of Newcastle upon Tyne. The school itself, for me, is um, a major uh, project. And I've spent a lot of time trying to develop a school in Newcastle upon Tyne and grow the school to the size it is now. It seems to me it's a wonderful city for international students. Pronunciation. Yes. Elias. Yes. 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 He is Elias. <laughs> and do, where does he come from? Kazakhstan. Yes, because do you remember first lesson? I had no idea where Elias came from, and you didn't know. We didn't know where Kazakhstan was. Kazakhstan is in Central Asia. <laughs> we have a real mix of, of nationalities. Um, quite a lot from Asia. Um, quite a lot of Saudi students. In the summer we get an awful lot more European students. Um, some students are here short term, maybe two or three weeks, but then other students are here for maybe a year or so. And it's quite amazing how quickly the students adapt to life here and adapt to um, the other students in the class. Um, because we have a, a rolling programme, um, it means that every week um, we get new students coming to the school. So although I'm teaching the same class for 20 hours and I get to know them really well, there's always still a bit of a change of dynamics as new people come in and very, very quickly then kind of adapting to the, into the classroom and then obviously people leave. Well, you speak lots of languages, don't you? I yeah. Remember. Five languages? Yes. Can you tell the class again? Russian, Kazakh language, Turkish language, wow. uh, English and a little bit Chinese. We try to cater for individual students as much as possible so we kind of break the courses down like Lego blocks in a sense. Um, so some students come for just morning classes, some come for afternoon, some do morning and afternoon. They can do general English, academic English or business English or prepare for Cambridge exams. Why do you want to study in ANSI? Why? <laughs> Because I already gained uh, working experience and I would like to be a top, uh, in the, get promoted to be a top organized management. Um, and we also have an hour of PSP, which is Personal Study Programme. Uh, and that's an extra hour each day where students can focus on a particular aspect of what they want to learn or practice. It could be grammar, it could be exam preparation, speaking, it depends on them. Actually, my worst skill English is uh, speaking and listening. If I study just only in classroom, in the morning class or afternoon class, we can practice all of the skills, but it's not uh, specific in my work skill. So it's different from PSP class that uh, I can concentrate on listening all one hour. So it's quite useful. Who are you sitting next to? Thomas. Thomas, did you get the job in the restaurant? <laughs> no, yeah. it's a joke. Yeah. I'm looking for an internship for this summer. Yeah. And, uh, in the UK? Yeah. Does everybody know what an internship is? Yeah. And you work for free. You work for free? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, 
Internship is some kind of work placement. Um, I get to know the work that is done here at Oxfam. Oxfam is a charity organization. Yeah, I decided to um, take part in it because I want to improve my English and to learn how um, yeah, the work is done here in England to get some international experience because I want to study economics later on when I get back home. And I think it's a good opportunity to do that. Yeah. I'm going out tonight with the friends. We are going to the pubs or somewhere else to see the old buildings or monuments of Newcastle. We always uh, have activity together. Go, uh, going to Edinburgh, going to Liverpool, going to Durham, going to another place to visit. It's enjoyful. We were in the north of England, close to Scotland, and close to some wonderful places for students to go on excursions to York, to Durham, to Edinburgh, and so on. But also it has a wonderful history, a wonderful cultural history here. It's the home of the English language in the north of England, and uh, we can actually take our students to where the first letters of the English language were written. And so it's quite inspirational, um, and I've always felt moved by this cultural uh, essence of, of the Newcastle area and Northumbria as a whole. Hello. Hello. This is my classmate. Hello. My Hello. name is Lars. Okay. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. Hello. I think for a lot of students they really gain a lot from being in a homestay because they, they are interacting more with a, an English family. Um, so they're seeing how English people live, they're having more natural conversations over breakfast, over dinner. They build a relationship up, so that's, I think it's really nice to see people living you know, in a natural environment. But some people want more independence. They want to be able to cook their own food and come and go, um, you know, in, in a more freer manner. Um, so Charlotte House and the, the self-catering accommodation we've got works for some people as well. Also, some people that are here, when they're here for a long time, they, um, they rent their own flat. Um, so they get the full experience of having to pay bills and <laughs> dealing with local organisations and stuff. So it's, it's whatever works. As a place to live, Newcastle is a fantastic place because it's a city, but it's quite small, so it's manageable. I notice that students come here and within a week they feel at home. Another thing is the people in Newcastle are so friendly, they're so talkative. The football is fantastic. There is a stadium five minutes walk from the school and you can get tickets. It's a, and they're relatively cheap. There is also the Baltic Gallery, um, which is an old um, warehouse or mill, something like that, which is now a gallery and it's a fantastic architecture and great art as well. Um, there's also the Sage, if you like music, which is a... In Newcastle had a lot of money put into it around about the millennium, which gave the city a lot more arty things. So I think this is a great location. I improve a lot and if someone uh, ask me what is the best way to learn English, I will say uh, go, go in England to study in English in International House, Newcastle. I think it will help me, um, yeah, definitely, because I'm um, developing myself. Every day you learn something new and it's really nice, really exciting. I'm very happy to study here because uh, our teacher is very nice, very wonderful. Um, I will recommend to everybody to come here, exactly to this city, because this city is really nice and you can spend really enjoyable time here. And International House for me is still, after 23 years, an inspiration. We try to see International House Newcastle as a holistic uh, experience. So it's not just about learning English, it's not just about seeing castles and monuments and going to Scotland. It's about a human experience. Um, but we like to think that we take care of the whole human being. 
and not just the head.